Hi, I'm Jeff. Welcome back to Practical Renaissance. Now, I recently finished a project that was a Form 1 suppressor for all my center fire rifles. I made it here in my small workshop, and you can actually see all the videos of me creating it here. I also recently test fired it, and you can check out that footage here to see how well it actually works. Now, I shot it on a couple of our AR-15 rifles, and the thing about those is when you put a suppressor on an AR-15, the way that the gas system operates, it actually kind of sprays uh, gas back in your face due to the, uh, the the nature of how the firearm cycles. One way to mitigate this is to actually fill some of the gaps in the upper receiver that that gas sprays out of with some RTV silicone gasket maker. So uh, this is a an idea that has been on the internet for a long time and lots of people do this so I'm not claiming any sort of uh, <laughs> originality with this but uh, I'm taking a few different ideas and methods and uh, we're gonna just do it here on video, see how it comes out. Now at the core of this process is essentially mold making. What we'll be doing is applying some of this silicon RTV gasket maker in its soft state to this charging handle right here and then forming that to the inside of the upper receiver. So the first step is obviously to make sure all of the key components are very clean. I've gone through my typical cleaning regimen for a firearm, which uses basically brake cleaner and brushes and such, and I'm actually going back over it with just some alcohol pads to further remove any, um, you know, debris or liquids that might be on there, anything like that. We'll also do the receiver as well, although this is slightly less important because this will be where we're putting our, our, our mold release on. Now the mold release is paste wax, and, and what this is going to do is, is actually stop that silicone from adhering to this part of the receiver at all. We only want it to adhere to the charging handle. Uh, this paste wax is great. You can find it everywhere. I've got a can of it. I think this is from like 1942 or something, but uh, it's great for so many things that you should just have a can of it in your shop. This is the silicone I'm using. It's ultra black, made by uh, whoever makes this. Um, but it's our TV. I got it from the auto parts store and we're just laying a bead in that little crevice there That's where all the gas comes out and hits you in the face All we need to do is clean it up because you really don't need that much uh, that bead was you know almost Almost two and a half times what we really need in there. We just just uh, just a very fine wait, gasket Cleaning this up at this point is a lot easier than if you let it set to clean up uh, because it does firm up. It's silicone and it sticks and, <laughs> you know, so taking that time to do it now, well worth the effort. With the first one done, I'm doing the second one. And this is the exact same process of just applying some wax to the receiver, putting the charging handle in. And squirting the goo in there. Some people say they do this for firearms that aren't suppressed. Uh, I've never really noticed a gas issue uh, before I put a suppressor on these, so it's, you know, up to you, but it certainly doesn't harm anything about the function of the firearm, so if you are so inclined to do so, then, then by all means. Now, the hardest part of this whole operation is waiting. It takes 24 hours to cure out properly, and you don't want to touch it a minute before. Now, I haven't done anything. I haven't uh, played with this, cut on it, anything like that. You're watching me touch this for the very first time after letting it cure overnight. And that mold release worked perfectly. I could not be happier. There's a little bit of uh, goo stuck to the upper receiver. We can clean that off, but it's, it's not, a, not a big deal. Not something I'm going to really care about. And, uh, but yeah, so that was that easy. And it seems to make a perfect seal. And for the second one, it's sticking just a little tiny bit. And you got to be gentle here. But uh, I think it's just that little extra piece around the side. So I'm going to grab a super sharp hobby knife, and we'll just lift that up a tiny bit. 
and pulls right free. I really love using the paste wax as a release agent. There are some other instructional guides that, that show you just to squirt the RTV in there and then cut it loose. But this seems to come out a lot cleaner, which means it's probably going to make a better seal. It looks better, too. Um, so if you like this, give me a thumbs up and uh, check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel for uh, goofing off in my workshop.